Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back up here, and um, I want to say thank you, thank you for the new subscribers, thank you for your comments, I appreciate it, and uh, the feedback is important because the feedback uh, through the comments is about that uh, you guys see and that it's not only you. <clears throat> uh, special thanks again to, uh, to the people who donated to the coffee and to the PayPal, guys, appreciate you uh, for, and uh, where should I start? There is a lot of going on because of this uh, a full moon uh, that is uh, facing off uh, that uh, intense energies. Uh, but with the facing the in intense energies, it's kind of like a, those intense energies is behind her in there. She's managing to stay in peace. Why? Because there is other ways. There is rounds. There is other situations. There is something that it's out there that it's helping you to navigate this. It's not about what you thought it is. It's not about this, but you appreciate it that oppositions of the sun as a uh, uh, warm and uh, the energies that it's coming from the sun they keep us alive right so um this kind of like an energy of pisces uh, that it's coming it is about to look at it deeply inside of our soul of uh, what make us sick uh, what uh, we need to be fixing ourselves uh, watch as this is a uh, the feminine energies into a Pisces uh, in there, while the masculine energies, the authorities in Virgo. If facing off uh, this, it is about the two hospitals. The one, it is about the soul. The other one, it is about the body. And if I uh, look at it this uh, by understanding what is wrong with you within the body, what is it, the situations within the body, you can be able to understand what's within the soul. Once you're understanding what is it, the issues from soul level perspective, you understand what you need to change within you so it can heal your body. Uh, and this is going to be uh, finding out. This is going to be a period of uh, you facing it, the real issues, the real problems. And with those uh, facing it out, uh, you will understand there is no uh going around there is no uh let me just shove it uh, let me just push it away you've been pushing it away for a while and uh since right now pluto is in capricorn he's like uh nope uranus is retrograde nope neptune is right there next to the moon uh there and he says like nope you want to go back you want to repeat the cycles you want to be doing it the same thing over and over we can send you back Look at how what happened. It says how many repeating hell cycles that you're making from within yourself. You have to do. And uh, important, crucial, um, kind of like a full moon, uh, because it's going to be squaring Jupiter. But the synchronizations energies, that is what you need to look for it. What is those synchronization energies that are going to be able to keep that peace, that inner state of meditations of nirvana within yourself, knowing that whatever you are going to discover from within your soul is going to be for good from within you because you are one, the universe, within the energies inside of you from within yourself. So I'm going to remove that picture on the side uh, right here and... Uh, Right in here, we are going to have the sun and uh, the moon. Uh, they're going to be coming in uh, together. That is going to be at uh, uh, September 18, 3 o'clock, 33 minutes. They're going to be at 25 degrees, 40 minutes all together. Uh, this is how it's going to be. That uh, chart is look. As you see it, we have a lot of this intensity here that it comes in from the moon and uh, Neptune. They are both uh, right here opposing uh, the sun. Uh, right here we have the square with uh, Jupiter. As a Saturn, it is part of this Jupiter still uh, squaring. But Saturn is also opposing Mercury. You don't want to talk about it. 
yes, you're silenced uh, because this uh, internal process in there, you see what made you sick within your shadow, what you got inside of yourself that you've been hiding it from it. And you see that those hiding things, they came out major dispositions. But uh, as the Ascendant is going to be pointing out together with Venus towards uh, the Moon, this is going to be at that time of ignition state. Uh, for We are going to have this Divine uh, Understanding at 3 o'clock, 33 minutes. If you get in a wake up at that time and you hear in a voice, you probably know what this is all about. So, uh, talking about uh, now about the synchronizations energies here. Here it's that the sun, it's going to be uh, trining with Uranus. Uranus is a very powerful here with the moon and with Neptune. Throughout Uranus, throughout the universe and there. Throughout unifying this universe, because you are one with the universe. Universe outside of you is also universe within you. You don't live somewhere else, you live in the universe. Hello, wake up. And uh, as the sun is a trining Pluto, and Pluto is sextiling the moon and Neptune, that is that beautiful kind that you're going to be taken off from this. Because you are going to find the bad for good reasons. You're going to find things that are conflict, of the authority and intuition within you, you're going to be able to find the truth, the true self. Uh, this uh, energy is going to come in, it's going to trigger a lot of stuff, if it has not triggered yet uh, with this, but uh, the energies are coming, they are coming, they're strong, they're powerful, and in the next day, uh, the moon is going to be crossing over to areas she's going to be passing through the north node uh, that north node is opposing uh, currently the lilits right now the lilits are separating uh, eight degrees of separation so they don't really kind of like uh, talk to each other at the moment uh but that is going to be this oppositions with mars uh positions uh, i'm sorry with uh, the lilits and the squaring mars uh this is going to be this firing moment that uh, you are going to be watching your emotions uh, please because uh, usually those uh, negative aspect only with the moon uh, it's been uh, there uh, is gonna trigger some a lot of the things this could be unhealed emotions acting childish uh, act like immaturely uh, particularly don't create situations in the family because this is talking about of uh, you know, uh, you got that uh, Aries moon with the Mars and Cancer. Uh, God bless the soul. What's going on in the family, right? So don't take uh, this uh, uh, situations because that can be trigger a lot of unhealed ones, but uh, can trigger what it needs to be healed. What was that positions uh, inside of you? But the intuition is wants to go fight. You may find that uh, you had something from somebody within you. You may be finding that uh, you were listening to somebody, this somebody doesn't talk to you anymore, and now you are acting because they told you so, and so on. Don't take these uh, personalities for the revenge, because this is going to be some intense energies. Okay? Don't uh, do that. That is a, about uh, this learning about the moon. You to stay put during those intense energies, you to meditating in there. That's what that energy is yesterday was given to you. All right, next day, we are talking about the 20th uh, of uh, September. Uh, the moon is gonna be passing through uh, Chiron. That is gonna be a uh, sextile with Jupiter uh, there. Uh, but pay attention here with Venus uh, for is that Venus is right now and these divine energies that I've been talking to you daily uh, about it, that uh, Venus is going to come here. And as she's coming here, uh, these energies, these divine energies from Neptune and Uranus is going to be showing you how to create this divine balance. So that is a, the trigger of the full moon. Because as soon as the moon yesterday crossing in there, she began to have the divine energies with Uranus. 
and that love is gonna show you so so much okay the sun is continued to flying off uh, you're gonna see how the authority is taking over of the process of changes and understanding this because right now this kite is very important this kite that it comes uh, up here it's from pluto neptune and uranus and they are all connecting and synchronizations and that synchronizations guys okay just to see it in perspective is going to be the same thing next year as you see it here it's going to be the new moon you're understanding this new moon process right now that's going to go this is right here this is the area that you are going to be dealing with the next year but as i say the next year this kite is going to be still here what are you going to know the next year from now what are you going to do the year from now how are you going to process when you are in this state how how are you going to be in this state right in here do you learn yourself all right okay i gotta get you back all right so here it is back into year 2024 uh in the next day that's 21st uh there the moon it's gonna be at uh, taurus proper proper energies divine energies that heals and look at it uh, in there from the past but here this has to be a new way this has to be this masculine energies that it comes in they're learning the wisdom and it proceed with the wisdom that wisdom then the moon it's going to be comes in it says like here how the material world should be you should not have more than you need you should not ask for less than you need you should look at it for exactly what you need and this is uh gonna be a uh, look uh, inside of you uh as well that's gonna be looking in the past what did you did did you get underboard or overboard did you took so much did you took less did you live on minimalism or maximalism where is that balance in there there isn't balance so now that uh, is gonna comes in is gonna um put you on that uh, positions you to review that uh, uh things uh, inside of you and it's going to be preparing you for the next day and uh, we're talking about the next day the moon it's going to be together with uranus with the universe now forever it happened right in here uh with this uh universe energies of this state you understand it you become one with the universe because you are the one with the universe you are living in the universe it came from there you are part of it like it or not it is what it is and this is why when you're trying to fight the universe, you try to fighting yourself. And guess what? You're fighting yourself. Have you win yet? Have you fight the universe and win yet? You see, that's what uh, uh, it is. Uh, the part of evolution you to really understanding your own personal self first and uh, since the moon it's uh here at that corner of the kite and particularly those divine energies that's gonna be from uranus and the moon towards venus this is gonna be the love the proper divine love that it's gonna come but it's gonna require some change and healing as a venus is gonna be squaring pluto this is a when you're resisting the divine energies don't resist it you cannot they are the way they are they're coming for a purpose to teach you to train you to coach you to help you to evolve either the good way or the bad way but evolution has no mercies in there as we're saying and here over and over and over all right next day 23rd uh happy birthday libros uh there the moon it's gonna be at uh, gemini beautiful uh trines uh, is gonna be made it with the uh, with everything uh talking about uh, the north and the south node but before that with the sun uh that is gonna be some uh making a peace be a friend so let's be a friend stop fighting stop this fight we don't need the fight we need to understanding 
can we get all alone and deal fine? Uh, so, I mean, not talking about alone, like you're by yourself and so on, but you can work the things out. You can get and cooperate. Just because of uh, certain situations and so on and so on, you don't have to fight. But that applies to what? First of all, to yourself. And as the moon, the intuition is going to be uh, up there. It's going to be telling you how to get from here to here. You need to pay that attention. So on that particular day, it's going to be telling you things. Because later on, you're going to be knowing what is this. Because right now, Mars being in a cancer, it's like, oh, I don't want family. I don't want this. Uh, this is too much. And so on and so on uh, for... But Saturn doesn't prevent Jupiter anymore of that growth. Okay. But Mars is still squaring Lilith. It's still squaring North Node. Check yourself out. Are you preventing yourself from being happy? All right, time to grow, time to do this part. Visiting it Jupiter. Jupiter is uh, squaring. Uh, the Sun and uh, Mercury that it's coming in together. This is a third quarter moon uh, for and you can feel the vibes. Why? 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 And this is kind of like it comes in like a, uh, that episode from uh, Neo. Mr. Anderson, why? Why you always have to be? I was here, you were there and so on and so on. Yeah. But uh, this kind of like a fight uh, uh, in there with uh, your intuition is going to come in and tells you you need to grow, you need to mature. You need to have this uh, maturity in there. And that maturity is coming from what? From being healed parents. You healing it uh, for either going to be healed or you're going to be destroyed. And that's what Neo did to uh, uh, there right and uh seeing it uh, this we can be a friend we don't have to fight but you see how the lower self and the higher self uh there between you and agent smith that comes in one tries to take over the other there is also energy that's called divine and since the Venus is uh, moving into Scorpio, uh, at the same time, uh, too, a lot of you is going to feel like the love goes into the wonder world, to the underworld. And there. What is the purpose of Venus and Scorpio? This is the lowest physical experience of love. The highest love in the hell. That is it when you go into the darkness and when you put the light, you're shining in there. You have to remind you about this picture of here. That's what this is. Everything is dark. There is the light in there. But that is coming from you. It doesn't come from somebody else. It's from you. All right. <laughs> So continue going in the next day. The moon is going to be meeting Mars. I don't know if this is going to be a war within the people. Lack of balance and uh, not seeing that uh, a good future comes in. Because everything is bad, bad, bad. And it's bad in the past and so on and so on. And Saturn is going to come in and helps. It's like, hey, watch out. This is not good. This is not great. See, the Saturn is going to come in up. Uh, in there to help. At the same time, Venus is going to come in it. She's, she's kind of like, a, I'm working on it. I'm seeing it. What is this uh, uh, dark energies are? Don't go. Don't create war. Don't create this. Don't destroy family. Don't destroy it, what was built. Some of you is going to do it, though. Some of you is going to be pushing up buttons. 
Some of you is not going to handle the pressure. Some of you is not going to stay in this nirvana process. Because that uh, not staying in that is going to show you weaknesses. Your weak paths there. Pay attention because those weak paths, they are much needed. Much needed because that way, those patterns that are going to come in, they're going to be resolved. You're going to be seeking it from that resolutions later on. Okay. The good thing here is that uh, Mercury, the Sun, uh, they are both uh, uh, have this uh, kite with uh, Pluto, with uh, Neptune uh, in there, with uh, Uranus. Uh, that is going to take a lead. You're still going to fly it. As long as you decide not to destroy the kite there. Okay. Because that energy is also going to be affecting so much up here. All right. The moon is still going in through Cancer. Uh, that is a because she's at home. And hopefully you didn't did anything. Because if you did something, now you have to heal it. You create the damage, you have to heal it, right? Uh, you need to understand damage is not only to the one you do it. It's also a damage from within. So now you have to see in it uh, with this uh, for but a lot of learning lessons are learned. Hopefully you learn lessons. Hopefully you get uh, this uh, uh, situation squared away because uh, Saturn and the moon uh, in there that beautiful trying to, that it's coming. Uh, they are coming exactly for this. Stop, listen, stay. Trust your soul. Wisdom in the soul. A lot of wisdom in the soul. It's coming with this day. All right. Talking about 27th uh, there. The moon is going to be crossing into Leo, square Venus, and opposing Pluto. Oh, nobody loves me. This is not about that. It is about the love. I wanted the love that I wanted, but it doesn't turn out. It's their fault. Uh, they didn't pay attention. They didn't do this. They didn't do that. And there is the other side of you. There is like, I saw the visions. I know where I'm going. I know where I've been. And I'm working with the universe. And all that old stuff. I'm not even going to be worried about it. But how many of you is going to be overcoming their ego to find their soul still stays in this state of nirvana? How many of you? This is actually a pretty good picture about uh, the moon is going to be at uh, Leo. Firing energy of wisdom. It all depends how you use it, right? can use it to create or you can use it to destroy. All right, continue going on. Uh, it's uh, 28th right now uh, of September. The moon's still uh, at Leo. Divine energies with Saturn. Lessons learned, right? Uh, admirations or everyone has to bow of me and so on and so on. What's going to happen when uh, everyone who bows to you understand how toxic you are and nobody bows to you? Is the lesson learned? Yes. But if you're this uh, wise uh, person in there, this uh, wise uh, grown up, mature energy and intuitions inside of you, you healed everything that it's supposed to be. Your understanding of the proper world and you know how to get in life get forward moving forward you might not see the whole picture but you know by walking forward you can be able to see what's next step you are able to see what is the next situations that you need to do with that point and uh, since saturn is a divine energies with the moon particularly occultic uh, astrology a little bit uh, up here this is one of the divine gives you the lessons of what you need to do as a mission with your life. Moon divine energies with Saturn, that's what it presents. 
this is like uh, uh, Merlin is given a blessing to Guinevere, right? This is a, the God where it's blessing uh, Eve. That's what it is. So she can become the mother, right? And uh, seeing it, uh, kind of like those energies, uh, you're going to be learning a lot of occultic stuff uh, later on because Pluto in Neptune is going to be pointing out again to that direction. So I was talking about the last degree of Leo, the first degree of uh, Virgo, right? Yeah, I'm suffering from my, from my ego and now I have to go into the hospital. So I can straight the things away. But when you're hurt, what do you do? You hunker down, you go into a hermit mode. That doesn't mean you gotta stay there. But you need to make evaluations. This is a those kind of like a, a degrees when after you break it up and uh, you had a relationship and so on, it is about to take time to do evaluations. Not kind of like going from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship in a matter of two weeks. You haven't processed the pains. You haven't processing what happened. And now you're carrying it, all that pain into the next relationship and that repeats itself and so on. But now Neptune and Pluto says like, take a look. The universe doesn't allow it. You need to heal those patterns and that's how you're going to grow. And as uh, all this is going on, we start having a, this particular, I would say is the meetings of all that seeks balance. Uh, you're going to be feeling the pressures because uh, uh, the true that it's still at 28 degrees of Virgo, but everything else is at Libra. And that is opposing Neptune and uh, uh, the, no the North Node. With that energy is there, you see how you're standing against yourself. And you create this lack of balance there. The lack of balance right now within the present is because of lack of balance within So uh, with that uh, 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 energies uh, there, since this is a uh, Neptune writing here, you're figuring things out that, uh, yeah, I need to change my perspective. I need to change something with my spirit. I need to change something to create this beautiful balance. And all of a sudden, uh, the next day, which is now going to be the 30th of September, Energies are just calm as they can be. You're like, oh my God. Really? And it's just only on the surface. You are going and look at it deeply within there. The divine is telling here is the divine road. Who is finding it though? Venus is finding it inside of the dark self. As the moon finds that healing that it's going on in there. And put it in. So with all those energies that are coming in uh, together, they said like, it's time for you fixing this. No more BS. Heal people, heal people, heal people, healthy family, healthy family, healthy society, healthy society, healthy earth, healthy earth, healthy universe. How simple is that? Right? Will you be able to do that? Well, we have to work on yourself first. So, uh, with those uh, kind of like energy, you're going to be figuring it out. What is a uh, not balanced? You're going to be seeking it uh, as the moon is transiting into Virgo. You're going to be healed from that uh, oppositions uh, in there. From uh, this, you're arriving pretty much where the sun was during the full moon and you're going to be thankful to who thankful to the universe you're going to be thankful to mars that right now mars venus and saturn are learning how to get along right a lot of emotions 
take a look mars venus and saturn they're all in the water signs emotions but there is something else happens in it with those three there is this cosmic marriage of saturn that is coming right when do you figure out do you really love one when you lose them where are you figuring it out that you love the family when you lose your family after you learn those lessons what are you going to be trying to do who are you going to look for someone who's going to teach you a lesson right somebody who taught you lessons but you didn't listen and now you're looking at from within yourself what happened to my relationship because some of you during that moon that it was there with uh, with uh, mars it's like what happened there right all right here is uh, we're talking about the uh, second of uh, September. The moon it is approaching. Uh, uh, she's already within uh, Libra. Uh, still, it's not gonna be full uh, within the new moon. Uh, it's a seven degrees uh, difference uh, in there, and uh, through that uh, energy of the new moon, uh, yeah, you will see in it. Uh, I have to be kind of like. Uh, so much because those uh, squaring uh, in there with Mars uh, for it's gonna be really showing you you're not ready you're not healed what happened with these relationships in there you have the communications which is that is a gonna be with Saturn and Saturn is gonna be like well look at it Mars and Venus they have to go through the pain so they can learn that they have to come together. That's the cosmic marriage, right? Will you see how much pain, how much separations is there within this right in here? Who is here? That's the moon, that's the south node, your past, the true Lilith, the shadow you're hiding within yourself. That is a the authority within you, and that is a the mean you. Why are you mean within people? Where did you learn that? To be mean personality. Do you talk about that? You don't. And that uh, expression, this is going to be the biggest uh, challenges uh, in there. And particularly if you're a Libra, oh boy, you're going to be feeling it up. And whatever you have from this point of the sky right now, you asking for a challenge or you have something in cancer god bless your soul if you're like a dio you know ascendant cancer and fourth house libra uh for it you gonna be a lot of intense energies okay what are you going to do there hope you do this my hope it is that you're going to do this Keep that state. Learn in that state. It was given it to you. It came in from the depth of the soul. Okay. But this, this kind of like an energy of the new moon is going to be showing you a lot of things. A lot of things. What's wrong with the relationships here within yourself? in the relationships with others and with the relationships in the whole world but don't forget about it whatever it's downstairs the same thing is upstairs and if it's upstairs is not happy so downstairs is not happy okay talking about the hermetic principles so whatever you can put it up into your head is important what are you going to be telling yourself? And this is going to be the new lesson. Learning to have the balance, the peace. 
because the destructions within the family has been too much because that destructions that at Mars can do it's because unhealed wounds but still you understand that love now you're getting it so profound and the new lesson begins all right guys that's all i have for you i would love your comments uh in there and i will see you in your next time wishing you good luck in that journey and don't forget about it whatever you do just be love okay be love